Internet. We have something we need to talk about. Thing that happens sometimes where as a wee baby human you love something so much and then you grow up and you go back and you look at it holy Jesus was that shit problematic so on that note today we're gonna talk about the 1940 Disney film Fantasia and I will say there is some beautiful inspiring art in this movie I mean this film has prepped thousands of children to have at least 250 percent more fun on psychedelics as adults whoa this song is really purple however there are some parts that do not hold up I think I'm going to need a drink for this one. It's been a while since I've done a drunk rant. I'm not even going to talk about the Asian stereotype mushrooms. Or the white flower that is more special and important than all the colored flowers. Or the pure and soul-crushing stress of Mickey Mouse and the broomsticks. Oh my god, this is why I have anxiety. It's Mickey's fault. However, I do need to pause and mention the unnecessarily sexualized goldfish. Why? Why is the goldfish sexy? Why is this? We don't need that. No one needs that. No one needs a sexy goldfish. Literally, no one needs a sexy goldfish. Shadow. Bitch, you're underwater! How did you even put that on? Not to mention you don't have opposable thumbs. I want realism in my cartoons, goddammit! Oh my god, that goldfish is totally eye-fucking you. Also, I do need to mention the cartoon trope of male-gendered predator animals and female-gendered prey animals that appears in this lovely ditty. <laughs> Subliminally teach children that rape culture is the natural order of things. Yes. <sighs> I really liked that one too. They were ballerinas. But what I really need to talk about is this shit. <clears throat> centaurs. Everyone loves centaurs, right? They run real fast. They're so majestic and beautiful. They're half human, so it's not weird that they're sexy. Well, in Fantasia, centaurs are problematic as fuck. So first of all, with the centaurs. The men go and they do something important and manly, while the women stay home and prim. They each have their very own cherub stylist. I want a cherub stylist. Where do I find a cherub stylist? This is so that they can be pretty for when the men come home. Then they parade in front of them, and the men pick out which one they like the best. And all of this is already bad enough. But then, then, they literally pair off by color. The blue one picks the blue one, the pink one picks the pink one, the orange one picks the orange one. You guys, centaurs are racist. Calm down. It's not real skin colors, so it's not real racism. <coughs> oh god. But I'm done. I'm done. I can't even with this shit. God damn it. I love you, Fantasia.